sex dream in which Sochi Feely is an early riser. First you're nothing, then you're born to it through darkness born, a chaos pouring into measured chaos, bursting bloom of bone and ichor. Such a story lives within the bodies of all men, but not a man, your love, who's left the bed to go and make the coffee, peeling back the sleep in layers, locust thin, you watch them walk into the kitchen, fastening a robe of lemon silk around their godly body, muscled umber, overgrown with ink and leaving after every step a trail of yellow flowers. Some mornings you wake up to singing in the shower, and though the voice is low, it's not a man's. And though it sings of war, it also sings of dance and rain, and sometimes David Bowie lyrics streaming through the house like butterflies. In certain versions of Cosmogonia, as told by the Mexica, it's Quetzalcoatl who escapes the underworld and carries in his beak remains of what once walked the earth in ages past, a femur, which when shattered and mixed with blood let from his sex becomes the first thing like a human being, born of wound and accident, a man, and every other thing somehow a bitch. <laughs> Is it religion then, a kind of faith, this queer creation myth that sprung up from within archaic stories? Does it matter what we call ourselves if to the king we are all faggots? Does it matter how we live if we arrive at death along the same sad path? It matters to your love, the prince of flowers, not a man who's come back to the bedroom with his pupils wide and black as the abyss. Paltry offering of words for one who keeps you safe, who brews you tea from psychedelic mushrooms, who packs the bowl for you, who pulls you close and takes you, not girl, like a woman, you might say, if that is what one chooses to believe. <laughs>